Crucial's new X9, X9 Pro, and X10 Pro drives all appear very similar. And in this video, we're gonna compare all three drives and discuss when you should choose to buy each of them. Crucial did send me the X9 Pro and the X10 Pro for purposes of making this video, but all the thoughts in this video are my own. They have no say in the content of it. Also, I wanna add, I have not used the X9 standard version, so all the information in this video is based on my experience using the X9 Pro and the X10 Pro as well as the specs on the X9. So to start out, the Crucial X9 Pro and X10 Pro both share the same size of body, and they're both made of aluminum with the rubber coating. They also both feature an IP rating of 55 and a drop rating of up to seven and a half feet. The Crucial X9 is made of plastic and it does not have an IP rating. The X9 comes with a three-year warranty while the X9 Pro and X10 Pro both have a five-year warranty. The biggest difference between these drives is that the X9 is QLC and the X9 Pro and X10 Pro are both TLC. And TLC drives are just gonna give you better sustain write and read speed, and they're also gonna last for a longer amount of time too. So you definitely wanna get the X9 Pro or X10 Pro if you care about durability and sustained speed. The X9 and X9 Pro both say they support speeds of up to 1,050 megabytes a second, and the X10 Pro supports speeds of up to 2,100 megabytes a second. Now just note that to use those faster 2100 megabyte a second speeds on the X10 Pro, you are gonna need a computer that supports USB 3.2 Gen 2 dual lane, and that's very uncommon on computers. So first and foremost, make sure your computer supports those dual lane capabilities if you wanna buy the X10 Pro. On both the X9 Pro and X10 Pro, I was hitting speeds of around 920 megabytes a second on my MacBook, so you can really expect similar speeds on both of the Pro models. Also, all three of these drives come in one, two, and four terabyte configurations, so you can buy them all with the same exact storage sizes. The drives are also all about the same size. The X9 Pro and X10 Pro both have a lanyard loop while the X9 does not have that. And you're gonna notice the X9 Pro and X10 Pro both feel more durable just because of that aluminum construction. So my recommendation is stay away from the X9 because it's QLC and not TLC. Also, I just don't love the idea of buying a plastic drive when you can get the aluminum ones for just a little bit more money. And you're also gonna get that longer warranty on the X9 Pro and the X10 Pro. And when a company offers a longer warranty on a piece of equipment, you just know that they're gonna stand behind it for longer. And that means that they have better confidence in the performance of that model too. So it's just a better practice to buy the devices that come with a longer warranty. So after staying away from the X9, I would say go for the X10 Pro if you have a computer that supports the dual lane USB 3.2 speeds, or go for the X9 Pro if you do not have those capabilities, because the X9 Pro is gonna save you a little bit of money over the X10 Pro. Now the prices on all of these drives can vary quite a bit depending on what sales are going on. So I have links in the description below for all three of these drives, just so you can compare prices and see what the best offerings are. But again, to tie it all up, buy the X10 Pro if you can use the dual lane speeds, buy the X9 Pro if you can't use the dual lane speeds because both of these drives are really compact and fast and they're gonna be a great option for you for all your content storage needs. If you have any other questions about the X9, X9 Pro or X10 Pro, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Also like this video, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming content.